Hey guys, welcome to the finals of Hasu League. This is going to be Master Ray versus Dreamer. It is a best of seven. Game one is on Eclipse. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Master Ray as the purple Protoss. Upper right-hand corner, we have Dreamer as the green Protoss. I am moving into this game as is Twitch chat. By the way, I cast these live. Tuesdays, I start a little bit later, usually around, I don't know, 10 o'clock-ish? 9.30, 10? Usually 10 o'clock. Thursdays, I tend to start a little bit earlier, just because how my schedule works out. Uh, but for consistent casting of this sort of stuff, that's where you'll see it. I want to get some feedback, though, on in the YouTube comments in the last match. I re regardless, regardless, I do want to put an emphasis and conclusion on the fact that I feel like Dreamer's micromanagement skills, the focus fire from the Dragoons, is what won him that match. So that's what I will say, period. But I am curious if future anybody else that's a skilled Protoss player ends up seeing this. What are your thoughts? Do you think he should have fought that out? And I think... I think, uh, so, Sony, aka Nooks, he's a BSL participant this year, and I'll probably be casting one of his games in Chobo League at some point here. And actually, maybe even a free replay here. His comment was, as he felt like Crane, that Dreamer, or Crane was in his own head, which oftentimes happens in Brood War. And that's also my analysis. I think he could have still fought that out. I'm not saying he would have pulled out, because there were additional Dragoons coming. And it would have been hard fought. But with the probe support, especially with decent probe micro, oftentimes you can find uh, fight that out. The things I do not know from that match are what was the lag like, because lag can be a huge differentiator. Gateway assimilator, two gateways for Dreamer. And as much as I lamented two gateways opener, two gateway opener is not working previously. We'll see. Dreamer, though, with the two gateways, it seems like he just likes dedicating those initial three zealots and going Assimilator and kind of pulling back from there. Master Ray is going to get a very much earlier scout comparatively. He's plopping down a second gateway to defend this. And so he should be okay versus this pressure with kind of the... And I like that. I like this option from him. So he's he has the Assimilator up. He can honestly just plop a single probe and gas and still defend this. We'll see if he opts to do that. But otherwise, he's going to go ahead eventually. Otherwise, he's got this gateway, he's going to produce the initial couple zealots. And once you have a couple zealots on the ground, you can basically defend against, especially with the ramp, defend no problem. Which should give him an early game advantage, we'll see. Zealot guarding the ramp so the probe can't sneak his way back out. And there's that first zealot, and here's the other critical thing is... I'm wondering if Master Ray is going to play this. No, he's just going to opt to go ahead and build those zealots. Once he sees these zealots pop out, he can make decisions from there. And we'll see if Dreamer... Yeah, he's going to go ahead and move with those three Zealots rather than keeping at home base. Plopping down his Assimilator. It seems to be his preferred opener on both Eclipse and Blue Bastard Team. And to go this two-gate Assimilator follow-up opener. Three Zealots making their way. Three Zealots are defending on the front. There's a Cyber Next Core. And there we see the probes in gas. So this is going to give Master Ray a tech lead. Cyber Next Core following up. He's going to have that gas lead. And so he'll have Dragoons out a little bit earlier. The comparative advantage for Dreamer with this opener build is he does have units that are in his opponent's face. And so a little bit more pressure against his opponent, which gives him a little bit more space to micromanagement, things like that. Results re-engaging, trying to get up that ramp. It's two versus one, but nice micro on Master Ray actually doing a little bit of re-engagement. Ooh, one Zealot down. Nice micro on Dreamer, actually. He actually... Did a great shuffle and didn't lose any base health on this. Another Zealot coming out. That's... Wow! Incredible micro from Dreamer. Getting two Zealots up in here. One of them with just a little bit of health versus three, but... That's two Zealot kills. Comparatively. And he's able to go in and get the scout. And Master Ray's going to have to... And keep in mind, Master Ray is a lower... Nice. I like what Master Ray did here. Just moving in, getting that pylon down. Able to pin the rest of those zealots in. Good maneuver from Master Ray to clean that up. Range is upgrading from his. So, great play both directions. Nice recovery from Master Ray. The thing I was going to comment is keep in mind, Master Ray tends to be a lower APM player. As you can see, he's, he hovers around kind of the... Actually, this is a little bit high from him. He's sitting at the 180 mark, but oftentimes he'll be as low as like 110, depending. Robotics facility building in that back corner. Another probe moving out, I assume, to scout. We'll see. Master Ray moving out and kind of positioning as though he's going to go ahead and dig his natural expansion. He is continuing to build Dragoons and not cutting production there to get a quick nexus. Probably going to wait 
on his own range. And he is moving out another probe. So we'll see. Pylon on that corner to do some spotting and also potential misfire in case Streamer decided to get aggressive. Two gate Robo for Dreamer. And I do not see a Robo equivalently for Master Ray. So I think I think Master Ray is in fact gonna go two gate into Nexus here. Probe dying does see additional Dragoons and Zealots on the ground. And Dreamer, in fact, opting for, okay, two gate, Robo into Nexus. So he cut Dragoon production to go ahead and get that up, which is going to give him a smaller army for this moment, but I don't think he's going to pay for it. That's kind of a nice corner cut to potentially get a lead. It's going to end up with that Nexus at the same time, but Master Ray starting to move out, and he's going to use his units to scout. Dreamer might be in some trouble now, actually. Because Dreamer's just starting to reproduce units. He's got this Nexus. He is in, Because he cut those units to produce this Nexus, he's ending up at a lower overall count. Master Ray doing a nice shuffle there to get his Zelts in front. And I think this might be GG. Just because of that decision right there. Because this is an overwhelming amount of units making their way, down, making their way across. Dreamer might be able to... Th here's the thing, though. Dreamer's micro has been incredible up to this point. Does he have a miracle with his micromanagement to stay in this? One Dragoon advantage plus close reinforcement point. Keep in mind. But those are Zealot reinforcements. I think Dreamer saw it coming, so he decided to opt for Zealots. But the Zealots gone on the ground defending that ramp. And honestly, Master Ray doesn't need to push this. I think he could just power down that Nexus. Misfire chance working right there. Let's see if he does back off and just work on that Nexus. Zealots walking down. They do manage to take out one, both Zealots on the corner. Probes now coming off the line to try to provide some defense. And yeah, now Master Ray can just sit here. Has Dreamer bought himself enough time to save his Nexus with reinforcements, though? He's got three gates down. Unfortunately, yeah, I don't think they're going to be there in time. Master Ray can, repositioning a little bit. Has to feel good. His Nexus is up. But with taking his opponent's Nexus down, that puts Dreamer in a very difficult situation. Oof. And that's what a unit... Dis it doesn't matter how well you micro in some situations... The unit disadvantage is huge. And honestly, Master Ray can just... So right now, Dreamer is also in the position where, yes, he has a Reaver, but he doesn't have... So it's going to be a couple minutes and a couple more Dragoons before he can even punch out of his own kind of natural barrier of his own ramp. Master Ray really spreading his units out. Yeah, because Dreamer was hoping to retake his natural, but Master Ray is just going to go ahead and reinforce with Dragoons, create a nice, large, concave area where he has the option to just abandon it, but in the meantime, it denies Dreamer his natural. Second Reaver, and also you might be able to pick off some Reavers if the Reavers are just... Because usually you want to lead with the Reavers to get a couple of free shots, but sometimes you can end up losing them as a result. And yeah, see if that happens now. Moving in, one Reaver down, and loses the second one. Nice pick off by Master Ray. Ugh. So Dreamer does... I think he will be able to... Well, maybe he will be able to retake his natural expansion. Master Ray, five Dragoons with a Zealot, plus the close reinforcement point. So he does retake his natural. But he ends up losing two Reavers, which is a huge cost to be able to do so. And that was when Master Ray already had his natural expansion up and running. Master Ray sitting at four gateways comparatively. He's got his robotics facility and observatory warping in. So a lot of big wins thus far for Dreamer. Or sorry, for Master Ray. Master Ray in a commanding position. Also up 34 probes to 23. So if Dreamer's going to sneak back into this, what he needs to do is he needs to have a miracle. A miracle shuttle. Get the shuttle, get the reaver. And go from there. Additional gateways being plopped down, so this is going to be six gateways overall. And an assimilator warping in. To get that additional, so double gas for those higher tier tech units. Yeah, honestly, I'm not sure that Dreamer has any sort of option outside of just a an incredible engagement. And I don't think Master is gonna give it to him. Full control group, the Dragoons. Master Ray approaching, sees the Reaver, backs off. The Reaver doesn't have an opportunity to fire. I don't think either player took any base damage. Well, a little bit of base damage there on that Dragoon. And Master Ray actually seeing that shuttle is going to split off. Nice reaction instantaneously. I like this maneuver. Immediately splitting off, I'm going to call this a platoon, I guess, a platoon of Dragoons to the south, just in case that shuttle was going to try to sneak across because he realizes, I think, I'm going to win this if I just continue with my macro. Currently up 87 to 57 supply, which is a significant lead at the 10-minute mark. 
Dreamer finally taking his natural expansion. Reaver once again. Is he going to plop up with two Reavers? Actually, Dreamer pressing forward into some Dragoons. Master Ray now reacting. Got a free Dragoon kill right there. And with a split army, Dreamer might be able to... If he can get on top of this, might be able to split things apart. But unfortunately, Master Ray, now taking that Dragoon army, might be able to walk into the natural expansion, create a lot of disruption there. And he has plenty of reinforcements at the main to re-engage despite this. And oh my goodness. Okay, he got lucky there. A little bit lucky because that was on the misfire location. He probably wanted that with his main army. Master Ray needs to gather his army up and get it attacking... Here, Dreamer really wanted to be engaging on this high ground. That's still an overwhelming amount of units. That shuttle being taken out. Master Ray sacrificing his Dragoons to strand those two Reavers in the background. And so where Dreamer might have had an opportunity to press forward and attack. And yeah, Master Ray just taking away those additional options for Dreamer to sneak back into this match. Really getting the chokehold here. The Reavers have to stay here for a bit until another shuttle arrives. Master Ray's happy to let them stay. He is setting up to maybe take an additional expansion. Otherwise, just kind of scouting things out. I think this might just be scouting probes as well, just to keep it. Because he's like, the only way I lose this at this stage... Still not mining out of the simulator, by the way. The only way I lose this is if, essentially, the Reavers land and get some sort of miracle shot, right? Second shuttle up. I don't think there was a speed upgrade here. Dreamer's still producing off three gateways, but keep in mind, these six gateways have been producing for Master Ray for quite some time. And this is... So before, I think I, in several other PvP matches up to this stage, I talked about... When you go gateway man, the position you want to be in is it's in a superior, like a dominant economic position. This is the dominant economic position that Master Ray is in. To do that gateway man execution. And picking off that observer, really just cutting options here. Re-engaging. Actually, this is a nice engagement for Dreamer where this army is a little bit split. That shuttle a little bit too far forward though. The rest, and hiding a little bit of his army, re-engaging, that shuttle's taken out, those Reavers are stranded, and I think Dreamer is going to have to GG after this engagement. Doesn't matter what amount of micro you have, yeah, there it is. Oof, no GG on the exit. A bit frustrated there. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next match. Thanks for listening.